Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at some benchmark applications on the Galaxy Nexus. We're just going to look at what kind of scores um, they get and how well they perform. Um, I did do a f um, restart before um, I start any of these benchmarks, so I did reset the phone. First of all, we're going to start off with Quadrant Standard. We're just going to run a full benchmark on this and see how well it performs. Um, bear in mind that um, some of these uh, applications are not optimized for ice cream sandwich so they might not be the score that you expected it's obviously going to be a lot lower than for example the galaxy s2 or the note or the um, sensation for example it won't be um, as good but once it's op optimized for ice cream sandwich you should be able to get a lot better results on the applications i'm showing in this video um, now we're getting about 35 no 50 frames it's jumping up and down i'll say average at about 30 Yeah, really getting about six, seven frames per second, which the processor is capable of doing a lot more. Despite these um, low frames, it still runs in any game perfectly fine, uh, um, very smoothly. It's going to take a look at the results. So you can see, I've got 1600 exactly. So you see, um, it's not the best score I've seen that like, the Galaxy S2 has got over 3000 plus. So. Like I said, it's not optimized for ice cream sandwich, but hopefully in the future, you know, it gets that support and you might get to see uh, a lot better results. Um, we're going to move over to the next application, Limpack. We're going to run single thread a couple times. 41. 42. 42. Let's run it one more time. So on average, we're getting about 42. Um, we're going to run some multi-thread ones and see how, uh, how that performs. 73, 75, maximum I got around was 75, I don't think I got any higher than that. Yeah, I would say about 74, 75 for multi-thread, so you jump back down to 65, but that's the kind of results you would expect. And we're going to move over to this one. We're just going to see um, how much frames per second we get at the end. I've tested it before and I've got 24 frames per second. We're just going to show you um, how much frames you get. See the little um, indicator down here that shows you how much frames. We're getting an average about 30 frames right now. It's going down a little bit. Like I said, once these applications are optimized for 4.0, you should see a lot better results because ice cream sandwich is um, optimized for dual core processors so it should perform a lot better than other devices see we're getting average 24 frames per second I don't think it's going to go any higher than that because that's the same result I got before um, still um, okay results not the best but still okay um, the last one I'm going to take a look at is this benchmark application um, I tested it before and I did get 6,125 um, 6, um, we're going to test it again just to see what kind of results we get I'm going to cut the video here and resume it again when we uh, reach the end and we get the results I know I said I'll skip straight to the end but I just wanted to show you um, these uh, graphical um, benchmarks that they're taking right now just to show you how it is so you got little Android guys kind of floating about and the next test you got um, a bunch of different char um, characters with swords and stuff that I just want to show you just to see how well it is you see down here again about 56 frames per second 57 it just shows you all the different graphical tests you got this one as well again about it's gone up to 50 now, 54, 55. I think it goes up to about 57. Start adding in more colors and stuff. Just to show you how well it performs. So the scores on here are pretty uh, decent. They're pretty good scores. And I'm just going to skip to the end right right now. Okay, the test is finished and the ending result I got was 6073. 
Um, the results are right. I think in the last test I got I got a little bit higher, about a hundred more higher. Um, we're gonna look at the score chart and see where this device compares against the other, other ones. Um, right there, kind of below the Galaxy Nexus. If I was to test it again, I'll probably get um, higher results. But you can see it's just kind of like the top or the second uh, best device under the transformer, which is a quad core processor, which is one of the best hardware devices you could get right now. And you can see where it compares, it comes second overall out of all the other devices, which is really good. Um, that's about it for the benchmarks, just, just to show you a couple uh, benchmark applications and how well they perform. If they, um, some of these applications do update in the future to support um, Ice Cream Sandwich, I might do an update video to show you how well they perform. But still, it's uh, this device still performs very well and it still handles most of the games not most, all of the games pretty much fine no lag or anything like that, it's still capable of playing all the games available and um, that's about it for the video um, don't forget to leave your comments below, tell me what you think are you happy with the results and um, that's about it, subscribe for more videos, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and thanks for watching